and it looks like I'm holding a selfie stick. So I know I have two cameras pointing at me. This is not a selfie stick, it is an umbrella for our camera. And uh, luckily for Zander, he's next to the camera, so he gets protected by the umbrella. Now, if we have a look here, there's a crocodile on the side of the river, and I know you guys are studying habitat. Now here is an animal that's ideally suited to the African river aquatic habitat. Now, but that's not really a crocodile. That's a bit small. What do you think, Zander? Yeah. I think that's a baby crocodile. Next to us is a real big male crocodile. There he is. Look at that. Isn't he a beast? He looks like a big owl to me, like Al Capone. Now, of course, they are the ultimate aquatic ambush predator. And big crocodiles like that particular one, he, oh, sorry, watch my hand, will not move uh, for most of his life. He, once he's big enough, he'll control a section of river like this. Now, the reason this section of river is very important is because it is a crossing point for the great migration of wildebeest, zebra, and Thompson's gazelle. So the bigger and stronger you are, the better territory you can control. And in the Mara River, the best territory is one where all the animals like to swim across the river. And this is one of the bigger crossing points. This morning, apparently, 30 or 40 zebra swam across here. But it doesn't look like they caught any. I can't see any dead zebras in the water at the moment. But of course, there's lots of different things that have an aquatic life. Oh, that one just popped under the water. And you get them there, just beyond the edge of the trees, where there's some ripples. Oh, you can just see a little nose coming up. Come on, show yourself. Stop being so shy. But there are some hippos. Now, hippos live in the aquatic habitat for a completely different reason. Now, they don't actually feed in the aquatic habitat. They leave the water every night to go eat grass. Oh, the croc's moving, the croc's moving. There's that big croc. I don't know if he's seen something or oh, he's just finished being out on the bank and he's gonna go back into the depths to lie in wait for some poor unsuspecting zebra or wildebeest. Now you can see how he completely disappears and you can see how his tail moves in the water. He's probably just done with his sunbathing since it's got a bit cold now and, the, and, and, the, and the, the sun has disappeared behind one cloud and we've got a bit of rain. Now Gage is wondering, am I scared? No, I'm not Gage. I'm quite far away from him and I'd only ever really be in danger if I was walking along the edge of the water. Now you've always got to be extra careful with any river system in Africa uh, because if you think there's no crocodile, that's the crocodile that's going to bite you. Maybe he has seen something. Where's baby? Maybe there's another crocodile that he wants to chase away. Well, Ben. Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our sunset safari. My name is Tristan, and on camera today I've got Craig, and a special warm welcome to the school. 